As caretaker for the Isaiah 11 Wildlife Sanctuary, Michael Scheibler never imagined that this is where he'd end up. Scheibler and his wife first purchased the property at the end of Elliott Road with small hopes of feeding deer in the wintertime and enjoying country living. After a few encounters with bears coming onto the property, he began to feed them. The first year, one bear showed up. The second year, 13 bears showed up. The next year, 32 bears showed up. And since then, we've had between 50 and 60 bear a day. Scheibler says he's had to disregard everything he's ever heard, read and seen about bears because what was right in front of him had contradicted it all. People come here and the words they use is unusual, unique, incredible. We go to places all over the world seeing bears. We've never experienced anything like this. And that's where we came to the realization it's the only place on the planet where this happens. With no advertising or fee of entry, Scheibler says people from all over the world have come to visit. In fact, every state in the U.S. has been represented. People hear about this place. We don't have a website yet. We don't really advertise anywhere, but people come from everywhere because they want to experience something that's nowhere else available on this planet where they can come out and join me 95% of the time and, and like you did, hand feed a wild bear. While many people are amazed at what Scheibler does, there are also those that say it is wrong. They say feeding bears encourage them to come back for more, but Scheibler says that's the idea, just like any other animal. Starvation is not funny. And then it's when these bears are starving is when they go and get out of control and break into people's houses and cabins and, and take chickens out. Since we've been doing this, there's been not one report in the whole area surrounding us of a single bear problem. Because a fed bear, in my opinion, is a content bear. A feature film titled The Gentle Bear Man of Emo is currently still in production, but is looking for a fall 2012 release. Jordan Milani, TBT News.